Welcome back to Tech Yes City. It's that time of the month for used parts hunting. And today we're going on Gamtree and we're gonna find a heap of good graphics cards if we can. Now, in my previous vlog, I got a heap of X58 motherboards. We got them for a bargain. Now the problem is, of course, we need graphics cards now. And I'm gonna be looking for that. And of course, I'll look for some other deals if they pop up. But with that said, let's go hunt for them deals. So we've pulled up a few potential bargains off of Gumtree and the first one is this 170 Australian dollars. Now, before we do any more searching, I will say that one Australian dollar is about 80 US cents. So what you're seeing here is a lot cheaper if it was in American dollars. Uh, so it's 170 Australian dollars. Now we're gonna try and barter the guy down and see if he'll take $140 for it because it's a four core, eight gigabytes of DDR3, 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, you get the case, power supply, motherboard, and everything like that. And a really good thing is as well is that I have an included bracket, a thin bracket for a low profile bracket for a GTX 750 Ti. So I've got the perfect graphics card to slot in this if I'm able to get it. Now the next deal we've pulled up here is a 6950, one gigabyte card, but it's only going for $50 and it's not too far away from where I live. So hopefully this guy will take a $30 offer, I think, if he wants to get rid of it as it is one gig, so not many people would be looking for it, but at $30, it would be an awesome deal, which would be like 23 American dollars, very cheap. Next deal here, one guy is selling two GTX 670s, so we're gonna come in at 60 Australian dollars a pop. Now, since he lives in Spring Hill, that is right in the middle of the CBD, I believe, in Brisbane, so he's probably just looking to get rid of these cards. Also, some other awesome deals going on Gumtree is $100 for a 7970. I'd like to ideally offer around $80 or $90 for this card. However, the problem is, is it's just too far away from where I live. This would cost a lot in petrol or gas, depending on the term you want to use, for me to get up there and get back. It just simply wouldn't be worth my time. Same with this GTX 580, another pretty solid card. If you could get this for $50, you'd be laughing. But the problem is, again, it's just too far away from where I live. So with all that aside, let's call up the first potential buy. And with Gumtree in Australia, as you guys already know, you have to put on a bogan voice. If you don't, then you quite simply, a lot of the times, don't get the deals. Hey, Carl, how you going, mate? Good. Yeah, I saw you out on Gumtree for a uh, HP 3300. Oh, yeah, yeah, the computer, yeah. Yeah, mate, would you take 140 for it? Uh, I can come pick it up. Yeah, 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 yeah,
No, thanks, mate. Bye. Wait, that was probably the weirdest Bogan voice I put on. I actually didn't practice before I did that bit. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah, I saw your ad on Gumtree. Yeah, I saw your ad on Gumtree for a uh, GTX 670. But yeah, we got the 6950 for 40 Australian dollars, which I'm not too sure if that's a good deal or not. I actually think it's a pretty bad deal off the top of my head. So even if we don't need the graphics card, I can still do a pretty cool video on it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would still be interested in see how a card like that performs in maybe today's titles. And Jerry was actually a really nice guy on the phone. Anyway guys, it's time to go jump in the Yesmobile and go pick up some of these deals. And they're a little bit far, they're about a 30, 40 minute drive, but it doesn't matter because I got a full tank of unleaded. PC here, this is the HP 3300. We got this for 140 AUD. Now I've put the GTX 750 Ti low profile graphics card in there. I actually had to change it around the bracket. So this model is a little thin one, so it fits in perfectly. However, there is a little bit of problem at the moment. It does boot up, but it boots up very slowly. So I've got to look into why it's not booting up 100%, but I will be making a dedicated video for this because something like this is just extremely good value for money. I mean, you can pick up 750 Ti's for probably around 50 US or 70 AUD nowadays, so they're going very cheap. I don't know if you can get a low profile one like this, they're probably a little bit more rarer, but this one just runs off the PCIe power, so it's really not drawing much power at all. I probably will have to take it out, undervolt the CPU and the memory, and turn off all the things that I'm not using, just so there's a little bit extra power available. I've already unplugged the DVD drive. And yeah, hopefully I can get this thing working perfectly and test it in some games at 1080p. Now, here we've got the 6950 now i believe these can be flashed to a 6970 so i'm going to look into that we got this for 40 aud i wanted to pay 30 aud for it but the guy was really nice i even met him in person really cool guy so that is a pretty decent uh, card for the money hopefully i can do some testing with one gigabyte of vram and see if that is enough for today's games I also got sent in a B350 and an X370 motherboard from ASRock. These are their mini ITX motherboards. Now I'm not too sure what the difference is between the B350 and the X370. I believe this one has extra features in the BIOS, uh, like uh, load line calibration support, as opposed to the B350, which doesn't have it. So I'll be doing a full comparison once I know the differences, but really for what it's worth, that B350 is a real sweet spot, especially on a mini ITX board where you don't get the extra USB ports because it's simply such a small motherboard and there's no extra room to put those USB ports on there. Also, Cougar sent in their headset. This is the Immersive Pro and their open air sort of hybrid uh, case called the Conquer. Now, I really like these cases because in the past I've had the uh, Aero Cool, I think it's the Strike X or something, and that was pretty cool, albeit it was really big. So hopefully this one is really good. It does look good just from looking at it in the box. And let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to test in this case, and I'll make sure I get it done. So another thing I got asked a lot about in the comments was how do I search for these deals? What goes through my head when I'm looking for products and how do I know what things are worth? So a big hint for you guys, if you're in the market for a graphics card especially, uh, look up the Firestrike GPU score. That'll tell you a lot. It's actually my favorite score when it comes to looking how a graphics card performs. Even modern day graphics cards like a 1080 Ti, 1070, or even the newly released Vega 64 and Vega 56. With those graphics cards, I look at the Firestrike GPU score straight away because it's gonna give you an average of how this graphics card will perform in games. Now with that, you can correlate that graphics card score to the price. So for instance, with those 660 Ti's that I picked up the other time in the last bargain hunt that I did here, I got them for $60 or 60 Australian dollars a pop, which would be around 40 something USD, which is extremely cheap providing they get around about, I think a graphics score of like 7,000, which is so good for the money. And considering a GTX 1050 Ti, for example, gets around 8,000 in this benchmark, it should give you an indicator on how good value for money you are getting when you're buying a new graphics card. And with that said, on the website techcity.tv, I'll put an article up for you guys where I put the GPUs and their associated Firestrike score. So if you're in the market for a graphics card, 
then all you have to do is look up this Fire Strike GPU score and you'll get a rough idea of how strong that graphics card is. I'll also put the scores on what I believe is perfect for what resolutions. For instance, the 1050 Ti, when it scores 8000, I think that is perfectly fine for 1080p gaming at high settings. A 1070, for example, that scores around 20,000 points in Fire Strike. Massive improvement over a 1050 uh, Ti, for example. That'll be good for 1440p high and even ultra gaming. Now with the 1080 Ti, that scores a whopping 30K plus, And that's why this card is fine for 4K 60Hz gaming, in my opinion. Now there is a little bit more involved with that, especially with the VRAM and also the ROPS and other specs on the graphics cards. But that should give you a rough indicator of what resolutions these graphics cards are good for and also what frame rates. And on that note as well, the same thing goes for the physics score in Fire Strike. Very useful figure two for CPUs. I usually tend to use Cinebench because it's just so easy to get a quick score. And especially with a lot of the used CPUs that I'm dealing with, they don't have many cores or many threads. So the Cinebench score for those uh, low core count, low threaded CPUs is much more relevant, especially for gaming, than say something with a lot of cores. For instance, eight or even 16 core dual Xeons that I've done in the past. And also here is the giveaway PC. Now I was overclocking this a little bit last night. I got it to 3.95 gigahertz, tested it for eight hours so it's completely stable. And also on Cinebench it's scoring pretty high. I believe near 800 Cinebench points. In the 3D Mark Firestrike, I overclocked the graphics card. That's the 1050 Ti. Got that to a GPU score of 8,000. And also in Firestrike, the CPU, the 1500X, gets 13,000 physics in Firestrike. Now when I did the games test, PUBG ran really well at high settings. Uh, 1080p so people are going to have a great time on this absolutely smooth i got a lot of kills in the game that i played and also overwatch over 100 fps at all times really great pc for those people who want to play some competitive online multiplayer titles i even tested dota 2 really good again and then of course f1 2016 which is a really easy benchmark to do this thing was performing phenomenally well Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below what was your favorite part of today's vlog. I mean man, that 140 AUD PC was really good value for money. Now you couple that with a 750 Ti which is also going pretty cheap nowadays, put a low profile bracket on there, whack it in and you've got yourself an extremely cheap gaming PC for 1080p even in this cryptocurrency mining boom. So you can still pick up those deals, you just gotta as always hunt for them be on your hustle game. And with that said, the giveaway PC, another four days left to enter. I'm teaming up with Hardware Unboxed and also Science Studio. They're giving away their own PCs too. Internationally, we're going to announce the winners on Twitter and Facebook. We may even do a special live for you guys and announce the winners on that too. Massive giveaway, free to enter. Make sure you get in with the chance. Big thank you to you guys for supporting all our channels and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye. And I know you guys wouldn't forgive me if I didn't test this out. So we're going to turn this thing on and see if we got hosed or not. No, we didn't get hosed, guys. Woohoo! Okay, graphics card that works perfectly fine. So one of the guys in the comments said they would dislike the video if you were not in it. What do you have to say to that? He's a good guy. <laughs>